Ready? Hello, uh, my name is Ronan Goldman. I am a uh, conceptual photographer from uh, Israel, and I would like to share with you some of my work and tell you a little bit about it. I have uh, always been interested in dreams and dreaming and the unconscious, and um, I always felt that dreams and experiences that we have while dreaming sometimes can be as important and meaningful to us as real experiences in real life. Um, the problem with dreams, as you must know, is that they are strange and they are surreal and they're hard to explain to other people. I'm sure you've had this happen, that you've dreamt an amazing dream, you wake up a changed person, you grab a loved one or someone important and you explain it to them and tell them what happened and they look at you like you're a crazy person. So five years ago about, I decided to start a project called the Surrealistic Pillow Project in which I was going to try to recreate dreams I've had through photos. Um, essentially making photo dreams. Um, yes. The amazing thing about photography is that if you do it correctly and you do it in a good, good way and it's optically correct, that first second a person sees the picture, they'll think, whoa, that's, that's real. Even though this is, this is not real and she would be very angry with me if it would be real. Even though she was in that bed with one lizard at least, she's a hero. Um, so I wanted to use that fact, that realness of impossible situations in order to convey that, that situation that we sometimes feel in dreams, where it feels real even though crazy, crazy things are happening. Now, in order for this to actually work, the photos have to be created in a very special way. They have to be planned months in, uh, in advance. Um, they have to be shot in one session from the same viewpoint using the same lighting. And this is so that all the light and shadow will be correct and optically correct. If you would try to do this in Photoshop, bring in apples from a different picture or something like that, somehow the human eye, which is amazing, would, would see that something's wrong. So it has to be done on location at the same time. I find that uh, the opinion of pigeons is very much uh, dependent on whether or not I have bread. And on this day I had bread, so it was easy to get all these pigeons towards me and then make them go away a few times and, and so on. Um, the themes of this project, again, it's been going on for five years. There are about 23 pictures. I'm only going to show you about 10. Um, are themes that we often occur in, in our dreams. Themes of sheer happiness and exhilaration or pressure that we sometimes feel and paranoia, perhaps. Some people have that. I'm not saying I do. And even philosophical questions that I know I, I have sometimes uh, in my dreams. Um, the true meaning of these photos, just like dreams, are sometimes not clear to me uh, at the moment I create the photo. Sometimes they are. Sometimes only months later I understand what, what I was thinking at that moment. And in other situations, I'm still not sure what I was thinking. Um, the whole project has been exhibited in Tel Aviv and in um, Brussels. And in two weeks from now, we'll be in London and Amsterdam. Uh, what more can I say? It's still in the making and more complex photos are being created um, with time. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, I think we have like 42 seconds. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you, Ronan. Thank you.